curvy masking tape. Hello, yes, curvy masking tape. Uh, a little pause in the box making series to return to this, which um, I posted a photo of on Facebook six months or so ago. It, uh, it's been sat in this chuck ever since, which seems quite uh, wasteful, hogging, hogging resources. Um, the technique was acrylic paint put on with a piece of kitchen towel, rolled into a tube like you've seen me do before and dabbed on. And then this corner over here was spray corner. This section <laughs> was uh, spray paints put on wet, paper pulled off. And I couldn't bring myself to just abandon it and turn it all off, but it doesn't look finished yet. So I'm gonna see what I can do with some curvy masking tape on it. Right. And I'm going to put that on off the lathe because I think it'll be a bit easier rather than stooping and bending and doing it at 90 degrees. So I'm going to tape it up off the lathe and then do some colouring. And then it'll probably all get turned off at the end of the video. OK, uh, chestnut uh, black spirit stain. See how this combines with uh, the acrylic paints. Just going to try and put a shadow line around masking tape. Going to use a slightly thinner one this time. Okay, so another tape, a bit thinner. Back with the thicker tape now, trying to guide it into the areas where there is less tape, so the effect will be more noticeable. Right, now where there are bits where I haven't got much spray on, I'm just going to darken them off. And now the fun part, seeing what a mess I've made. clean round here for me. But these bits up here hmm, are very much like them. <coughs> I think you just have to just blend it in with the other colours. Right, so this is what we have so far. It's definitely got that feeling of depth going on that I've done in the other ribbon platters I've done. I do like the curvy nature of it and I think it's something that could be further refined. In fact you could probably say that about everything I do. Um, thing to do now of course is it's, it, it, it changes a lot once you turn the middle out. So I am going to put it on and turn the middle, get a bit of wood showing, a bit of contrast and uh, and some wax finish on that once the stain has properly dried.
I'm being uh, impatient so I'm using wood wax 22 which can be buffed straight away you see the wax coming to the edge just an experimental piece today and I've rubbed it a bit hard there which is a bit of a shame and there and here it is curved flaming ribbons bonfire spiral oh not long till November the 5th and bonfire night now um, being impatient with my finishing you can see I've uh, lost a bit of definition of some of the colors there but I don't think it was ever going to be one I was going to keep um, I just wanted I was impatient wanted to see what the idea would be like so um, I think you can safely say that yes I'm going to do this again and I think that might happen almost immediately Now this has not been one of the world's greatest lacquering efforts and it's only been drying a couple of hours at most but the cameras wait for no one well my camera waits for no one so here we go just putting a bit of burnishing cream to bring it up to a nice smooth even shine and I'm almost putting no pressure on the paper Okay, that's brought the sheen back down and I'm a bit more uniform. There is a nice shine. I think you can see things being reflected in it. The middle is a mess, needs a sanding. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And I might even get this posted before the end of the weekend. Here it is, finished. A bit rough and ready round the edges, I have to say. Just to get that one out of the way. Um, I should have waited much longer before I started treating the lacquer, but it's got a bit of a finish on. It's not, I'm not 100% happy with it. What am I, I really like, oh, get the right hand. I like this side. I like the longer, softer curves. I think the ones up here where the curves are a bit too, too um, sharp. Yeah, that's the word, a bit too sharp. Uh, are not quite as pleasing um, but the whereas the sort of shallow s curves are quite nice to my eye it can't really work out what sort of direction it's all going in 
but it was fun to try out that new tape and um, if you want to leave a comment about how awful the lacquering is down below feel free to do so but I know it's absolutely awful and I might not reply to those ones <laughs> but just to um, get a bit of a shine going over the top of the stain so it gives a little bit of a, an impression of what it's like well it was fun to do definitely shallow S curves rather than tight C bends <sighs> I think I'm making nonsense up now some of you might think I've been making nonsense up for quite some time anyway there we go uh, curvy ribbons very similar colors to last time just so you can make some comparisons but the colors are immaterial it could be any color or variation of colors um, it's fun to do but I ain't gonna keep it anyway till next time thanks for watching I forgot to take the still images of my curvy, fiery, ribbony thing. This is what it looks like now. So it's a bit late. Sorry.